Hi everyone, my name is Yusuf. Today I'm talking about St. Mary of Egypt. So today, the purpose of this lesson is we're going to go deeper of life and encourage of St. Mary of Egypt. So today's memory verse is, He who covers his sins will not Proser, but whoever confessed and forsakenness, they will have mercy. Proverbs twenty eight thirteen. So I want you guys to look at this picture right here and see what's going on in those photos. What I think is Saint Thomas is giving communion to Saint Mary of Egypt, and Saint Mary is standing on water. And uh, there are angels on the second picture on the top right top, and two angels lying on the desert with Saint Samuel. I think she passed out. And the bottom is Saint picture of Saint Mary, and a picture of talking to God. The inclusion of Saint uh, Mary was. She was born in Alexandria, in the land of Egypt. She was a beautiful and very rich girl. She did not believe in God and said that she could do anything she wanted. One day, Mary spoke to Jerusalem with her friends. Looking for fun on this trip, she broke many of God's commands and did a lot of sins. Mary, since we're having grave, she took great pleasure in completing those sins as well as having others complete those sins with her. Now it happened the time of the fast of Echelostosian Ech- of the cross, and many Christians were going in the, into the church. She tried to enter the church, but invisible force pushed her back, stopping her from entering the church. She tried again and again, thinking that it was her witness, but she could not. She said, I alone seem to remain unaccepted by the church. Listen, body. Okay, so... She wondered why she could not enter the church to see life-giving cross. She warned her of salvation, touched her, her heart, and revealed to her that it was her sins that stopped her from entering the church. Mary began to weep in her chest. As she stood weeping, she saw the icon of Saint Mary, Virgin Mary above her. She entrance of the church to be open to me allowed me to see the foundation tree on which he who was born of you suffered in the flesh and in which he his holy blood for the remnant of sinners for, and for me unworthy as I am. Then having some hope and feeling some confidence in the mercy of the mother of God, she left the place where she stood praying and she went again and met with the crowd that was pushing its way into the temple and the, no one stopped her entering the church. She was filled with ow, ow, with having got as far as the doors which she could not reach before as if the same force which had stopped her cleared the way for her she no she now entered without difficulty and found herself within the holy place and so she saw life giving cross Mary Mary then Mary then came out come out came out to the same icon of Ma- Virgin Mary she and asked her to lead her to the path of repentance and after those words she heard a voice from on high 
if you will cross the Jordan, it's a river, you know, you you found glorious, glorious rest. Hearing this voice and having faith that it was for her, she cried to the mother of God, O lady, O lady, do not forsake me, and she went to church and set off on the journey. At first, life in the desert was hard, demanding all the fun she used to have to have with her friends and her five five go clothes and good f good food in the desert. She was hungry and first and had only rags to wear, but the Lord sent her peace in her soil. After 50 years, Mary saw a man walking in the desert. It was a monk named St. Jomas who had come to pray St. Jomas. was in the desert because God directed him to find someone holder than himself. St. Jomas is the source of our biography on St. Mary of Egypt. Saint Zomos was very fight fighting when he saw the women. Her her hair was white and her skin was brown and lovely worn and bat thin for many years in the desert. Spoke for a while and she told him her story writing to mend her name to him as they spoke and prayed together as as the saint Thomas noticed the holy woman was leaving as she prayed she also known all of the the prayers never having uh never having a read a bible in her life Mary asked St. Domus to return the next year on the Holy Tuesday to give her command for the first time since her crumb she had not bad, had communion in 50 years. Then Mary di disappeared into the desert. The next year, St. Domus returned as he had promised. He whirled. He could not be about to find Mary in the desert. He waited on the banks of the of the river which was floated. How could Miss Mary get crossed? And he saw her on the other shore. Mary prayed and walked across the water. Jesus gave her the Holy Communion and Mary prayed the prayer of Saint Solomon. Lord, now let your servant be apart in peace. Mary asked Thomas to return the next year to see her again. The next year, Thomas and f found Mary. She had passed away in the desert. In the Peace after many years of living there were with Christ, she had written her name in the sand and she wished to be brought barren here in the desert where she had found the Lord in her heart, found the note that Saint Mary of Egypt wrote. Saint Thomas understood that as soon as she had partaken of the Devon mysteries on the show of the Jordan a year ago she was at once transferred to the place where she died. Saint John was saying the murmur murmur server for service for Mary but he was an old man and could not dig the grave 
Suddenly, a lion came and dug the grave with his crowds, furnace, furnace, Zomus, and the lion bird Mary's body while her soul went to be with her Lord in have heaven. Saint Mary's life is an accepted example of repentance. To repent does not mean to simply feel bad for what has done and create the current is men this is can really be concerned to mean a change of mind so repentance to does not supply mean feeling bad if it is if it did Saint Mary of Egypt would not have finished her repentance simply by wiping her the doors of the church. Saint Mary of Egypt teaches us that true repentance involves feeling from the sins we commit. Sure, this often involves feeling bad but it can't stop there we must have the courage to get up and run in the apostles direction of sin just as saint mary of egypt did consult the quiet above by saint john cork sentin after trick us into pete Peace of shame when we sin, prohibiting us from displaying the true kindness that Saint Mary of Egypt did when she she chose to repent. The devil loves to make a sin feel small before we commit it, but after the dead has been done, Saint Mary of Egypt teaches us the meaning of. To repent so that we are afraid of sin, but Congress in coming to Christ repents to be cleansed. Those are questions. And we're going to watch a little video. And it's about the story and yeah. Hieromonk, the elder Zosima, had gone off one time during the great fast on a twenty days walk into the wilderness across the Jordan. He suddenly caught sight of a human being with a withered and naked body with hair as white as snow who fled in its nakedness from Zosima's sight. The elder ran a long way until his figure stopped at the stream and called, Father Zosima, forgive me for the Lord's sake. I cannot turn round to you, for I am a naked woman. Then Zosima threw her his outer cloak, and she wrapped herself in it, and turned round to him. The elder was amazed at hearing his name from the lips of an unknown woman. After considerable pressure on his part, she told him her life story. She had been born in Egypt, and lived as a prostitute in Alexandria from the age of twelve, spending seventeen years in this way of life. Urged by this lustful fire of the flesh, she one day got onto a ship that was sailing for Jerusalem. Arriving at the holy city, she went to one of the churches to venerate the precious cross, but some unseen power prevented her from entering. In great fear, she turned to an icon of the Mother of God that was in the entrance and begged her to let her go in and venerate the cross, confessing her sins and impurity, and promising that she would then go wherever the Mother of God led her. She was then allowed to enter the church. After venerating the cross, she went out again to the entrance, and standing in front of the icon, thanked the Mother of God. Then she heard a voice, If you cross the Jordan, you will find true peace. She immediately bought three loaves of bread and set off for the Jordan, arriving there the same evening. She received communion the following morning in the monastery of St. John, and then crossed the river. 
He spent 48 whole years in the wilderness in the greatest torments, in terror, in struggles with passionate thoughts like gigantic beasts. She fed only on plants. After she told him her story, while she was standing in prayer, Zosima saw her lifted up in the air. She begged him to bring her communion the next year on the bank of the Jordan, and she would come to receive it. The following year, Zosima came with the holy gifts to the bank of the Jordan in the evening and stood in amazement as he saw her cross the river. He saw her coming in the moonlight and, arriving on the further bank, made the sign of the cross over the river. She then walked across it as though it were dry land. When she had received communion, she begged him to come again the following year to the same stream by which they had first met. Zosima went and found her dead body there on that spot. Above her head in the sand was written, Abba Zosima, bury in this place the body of the humble Mary. Give dust to dust. I passed away on April 1st on the very night. Okay. Everyone, we're done with the video. And remember, here's the verse. He who covers his sins would not purpose, but whoever confers for sickness, they will have mercy. Proverbs 28, 13. And yeah, we're done. Thank you everyone for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And yeah, bye.